Good morning. Got some people leaving. They're going the wrong way. That's all right. Or they're moving. I don't know. Um, we are in the Coronado National Forest. By the way, the first video we did failed, so. Um, the Chiricahua Wilderness is over there. Someone is burning something down the valley and it's floating up, or there's a grass fire. Nobody here has a fire in the sunny flats campground. But it's very beautiful here. It's stunning. Now, I didn't know about the Sky Islands in Arizona, New Mexico, or the Coronado, or the Chiricahua Wilderness. It's a um, beautiful place, the Kirawak. Kira Chiricho Apache. This was their land from here in southwest, southeast New Mexico, Arizona, uh, all the way through Mexico. Uh, Cochise's stronghold is in the Sky Island west of here. Um, it's interesting. Uh, this is the most diverse, biodiverse area in the United States. Uh, there are sycamore. We saw our first javelinas. That was cool. There's a lady over here doing yoga. I don't want to disturb her. So I'll just walk this way. Um, we're at Cave Creek. Uh, there's a research station up there because it's so biodiverse. It's just beautiful. We've seen a bunch of birds here. This is a great birding place, we're told. and We've seen a lot. And there's my room. Paul went to get propane. Uh, it's Christmas Saturday and we don't think we'll make it through the weekend. So he's gone to do that and I'm doing this. So, in keeping with uh, Watch Your Head, here's Jimmy Full Time, uh, I'm going to talk to you about our relationship a little bit more. Um, we, uh, like most people, have aged, yet our ideas of sexual intimacy have stayed in our 20s and 30s. I uh, didn't know this was a thing. I never knew that at my age I would have to have some sex education. But it's true, our bodies have changed, our views of ourselves are not always positive when, as we age. And uh, I've never had great self-esteem in that regard. I think he's sexy. He doesn't think he is. I don't think I'm sexy, but he does. Thinks I'm sexy, but that doesn't work if you just, yeah, you know what I mean? So we went to Silver City and there's bats. There's all kinds of bats here. There's caves everywhere. So we decided to buy some books and we bought one called the, Man the New Male Sexuality. It was written in 1993. I'm walking around. Let's see if I can get away so she doesn't hear me. Um, uh, nice people, by the way. Uh, everybody's friendly here. It's neat. Uh, where was I? Anyway, The New Male Sexuality, which has turned out to be quite the eye-opener. There are so many myths about um, sexual activities and uh, even in this the great enlightened age of transgender and LGBTQ rights and um, we're a very sexualized country uh, as you know and um, everything's sold with sex pornography is everywhere so we bought the I'm just gonna walk over here um, I started reading it. I read to him for entertainment. We usually read, uh, we had Outlander, we read Zane Grey, we're reading Ken Follett. You know, it's fun that we like doing it and he likes listening to me read. So that's our thing. So we decided to read some books. And this one is really good. I think I'd recommend it. It's a huge tome. It's like two inches thick, three inches thick. And I think I would recommend it to everyone. It's, um, that's the host. They have an Airstream too. We haven't really met them. Um, look at this grove of sycamores. I didn't even know sycamores got this big. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? They're beautiful. Just beautiful. There's those uh, Emerson oaks and junipers. The gen generator's running. It's a little noisy. I'll just walk this way. So, we've learned a lot about our attitudes towards ourselves. A lot of attitudes that get kind of stuck in your head about these things. Um, um, I think that you know, where do we learn this stuff from? Pop media and stories, and so it's been really nice. Um, 
we're finding our way back to each other. It's, they say if you have married long enough, you discover that you fall in and out of love. That's noisy, give me a minute. I do like this place. There's no ATVs, no cows. Well, a dog. So, there's no internet here. Um, my phone doesn't reach with the wee boost. Paul gets a little bit, but not enough. So I'll be posting this later. We're gonna be here till uh, January 1st, and then we're gonna go to the monument. We might have better reception there, so I'm making this to, to post later. Um, something that we've discovered is that, yeah, you do fall in and out of love. Uh, we know we have. Um, one time we almost split up and it failed because we love each other so much. Um, uh, I think I'm blessed. I'm lucky. Uh, we've worked at it. Um, it's not, relationship is hard to work on, yet sometimes the rewards are so huge. So if you're older or you're young and you feel like you have problems in that department, I really suggest you look this book up. It was published in 1993. It's needless to say, some of these ideas are timeless, but uh, I'd recommend it. Um, we've, I've re we've really fallen in love with the Chiricahua. Somebody's burning something. Either it's a grass fire or garbage down valley, because Portal's just three miles away, and it's come up the valley. God, I hope it's not the forest. Um, that's the first smoke I've seen anywhere we've been in six months. But uh, um, we've had to put one fire out that people left unattended already. We do that all the time. What I noticed seeing more and more as we travel, we um, picked up a green trail map and on the map it said that the Chiricahua Apache owned all of this, um, all 15 Sky Islands, uh, all the way through Mexico, um, and acknowledged that it was taken from them by Anglos, by our ancestors. And I'm seeing more and more of this. I'm seeing um, New Mexico, Arizona, acknowledging the native, the first people's presence here and what was done to them. And I think it's important as a therapist that once the truth is out, once truth is told, once something is acknowledged that helps people heal. And we can't deny our history and we can't change the relationship with each other. Um, but acknowledging it helps us move forward in a better way. And we all know that. We've known this for centuries throughout millennia. And as individuals, um, uh, trust and honesty in relationship. I've just I've seen something that as we've been out here in the macro and seen the effects on peoples and the land, um, it's helped us in the micro. Our sense of ourselves, uh, opening up ourselves to different experiences opens yourself up to viewing yourself differently. And I think that's the point of travel. It used to be that young men would go off and travel and learn about the world before they came home to settle down. And I think it's important to still do that. Um, something else I've noticed as we've traveled, America is a junkyard. I know we don't want to throw anything out. A lot of people... Uh, don't. They want to recycle, they want to reuse, you might use it later. We had the same attitude in our house, that's why we had so much stuff. But also, it's junk. After a while, if you're not going to use it, throw it away. We see roads full of dead cars and trailers and look at that silk or Oh my god, that's beautiful. We take care of things, yet we don't. There's a car coming, so just hang on.
Bye-bye. So long. Be safe. I say that every time someone leaves, Paul laughs. Bye-bye. So long. Be safe. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I'm just walking down the camp road. Um, we've been bicycling. There's a bunch of trails. Can't wait to see it. We went up one that was just magical. This place has been well taken care of. Because of its biodiversity, there's a lot of research scientists here, and there's two research stations. And we hope to come back in the spring so we can see the birds come through. Um, here in mid-April, probably. Where was I? Anyway, our uh, expanding our worldview. Well, there's things I've learned I had no idea, and I live in this country. It's just amazing. The history of Silver City, the history of the Apache, the, the Hispanic uh, history. The I mean, I always considered... Oh, look. See? The javelinas have been digging around. See? We saw three javelinas. Never seen... Sorry. Javelina. I was corrected. I anglicized it. Javelina. Seen deer. Still haven't seen a Guaramundi. Waiting. Look at the boulders. Um, yeah, the javelinas have been in through here. They're digging for grubs or whatever it is they eat. Um, so in the macro, so the micro is the saying. And as our mind, as our, as we've, as our confidence is built and we've traveled and gotten better at this and learned so much, it's helped in our micro to expand our view of ourselves and each other as a couple. Um, something though I found that I, I tend to talk too much when I'm around new people. They don't really want to hear this. They say they're, they're polite, but they don't really want to hear stuff. So doing the blog, if you want to watch it, fine. If you don't, you don't, don't care. Um, even our daughter hasn't watched them. She said, I haven't watched them. I said, it's okay. You listen to me talk all the time. It's not important. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing this and hoping that some people can avoid some emotional turmoil and then give it all up or decide not to do it at all. I, I, I think everybody should do this at least for a little while. Um, learn more about our country. Learn more about our history. Learn more about the world. Because once you start learning our history, it starts to expand around the world. Um, we have issues we have got to deal with. And we're not going to learn how to do that or take care of anything if we don't expand our worldview. Look at this. This is just feet from the camp. Look, some bouldering. I want to go bouldering. I kept my shoes. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to do some bouldering. I'll do a video. What else did I want to say? Let me think. Hold on.